The carbon cycle. Carbon is an element found in the periodic table. And it might just be the most important element for life. Carbon can be used to make fats, proteins and carbohydrates. These are all important components of cells. And cells are the building blocks for living organisms. So in other words, no carbon, no life. In the carbon cycle, we're going to see how carbon goes from the atmosphere into the ground and below the ground. Let's start with the atmosphere. Carbon in the form of carbon dioxide is taken in by plants through a process called photosynthesis. In addition to plants, we also have algae which are small microscopic organisms that do the same thing. Plants turn carbon into sugars. They use this sugar as food for themselves, but also don't mind sharing it with their neighbours, animals. The sugars are used by plants and animals, and carbon dioxide is released in a reaction called respiration. Now we know that plants and animals don't live forever. Sadly, they all will eventually die. However, as they are dying, their bodies get broken down by small microorganisms called decomposers. Decomposers also release carbon dioxide as they are breaking down the plants and animals. As for the animals, now we just have the bones left. These bones get crushed over millions and millions of years and eventually turn into a black, dark liquid called fossil fuels or crude oil. The fossil fuels are then extracted by human beings and placed into barrels of oil. Oil is very useful as it can give us fuel for transport, help make materials like plastic, and also important chemicals such as medicines. When the fuel is burnt by combustion, this also releases carbon dioxide back into the air. Plants and animals can also be turned into useful stuff. Plants, for example, can be turned into wood. And when wood is burnt by combustion, this again releases carbon dioxide back into the air. So let's summarize the carbon cycle. Step one, carbon dioxide is taken from the atmosphere by plants and algae through a reaction called photosynthesis. Step two, animals eat plants and algae. Plants and animals respire and release carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere. Eventually, plants and animals will die. Decomposers break down the plants and animals and also release carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere. Eventually, we just have the remains also known as fossils. Over millions of years, these fossils get crushed by the earth and turned into fossil fuels. The fossil fuels will eventually be extracted by whoever's alive millions of years from now. They will use the fossil fuels to create useful substances. Also, plants and animals can be converted directly into useful substances. Eventually, when these substances are burnt by combustion, it also releases carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere. So that's the story of carbon. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.